Hey guys, take a minute to the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to talk about a new type of update that you might be seeing on your iPhone. And you might be wondering if you should update your phone to this new update. And to see this new update, if you go into your settings and then go to general and the software update on your iPhone, if you're running iOS 16 already, you'll see this update known as iOS security response 16.4.1 and then parentheses a so this is a new type of update that we're seeing for one of the very first time on our iphone and this type of update which is known as rapid security response update is a new type of update for apple devices that allows apple to deploy out important security fixes that can help more mitigate any security issues that are being actively exploited or have been reported now these type of updates are meant to protect you and your iphone from any sort of security concern because what happened in the past is when there was an update for security you had to update to a newer version with a bunch of other updates but apple decided on the newer version you can actually do just the update for the security responses and system files so that you don't have to update the whole os every single time if you're looking to just update and protect your phone from any sort of exploit or viruses out there so this update as you can see on our phone it's about just a little over 85 uh, megabyte here and you can read a little bit more about it if you really want to get into the details about it so this actually is update available for iphone ipad and macbook and it goes into a little bit detail without going too much into all of the specific that apple likes you're going to keep that under the radar because they don't want people to know exactly what it is but you can see here I would highly recommend updating your phone to it and we're going to be updating it as well and we have seen a lot of phones being updated and we dealt to some other phone there's no really issue going on with this update but it is important to update because you don't want your phone to be vulnerable in any kind of way and the thing about this kind of update is you shouldn't see any sort of impact with your phone because it's really just security sort of update which is basically code under the phone that we don't generally tend to see we'll go ahead and update it and post if we have any issues but so far we basically on all the devices we've seen that were updated no one really reported any issues because again this is security related update for your phone which we'll see more of these kind of updates in the future as well so one of you guys this heads up if you haven't done it go ahead and download the update here now when you're doing the update, if you are getting an issue where it says unable to update for or verify the update itself, you might have to keep on trying throughout the day because initially when it was released, some of the user reported they were unable to verify security update and error message came up. And the reason why it came up was because when it's usually rolled out, everybody's trying to download it through the over the air, which is pretty much through your Wi-Fi, right? Or you sell your data and sometimes that could jam up their server. So you're gonna have to wait a moment or two. Now, if you're not seeing this update in your iOS 16, the other way, of course, is doing it through, if you have a computer, your iTunes, or through your regular Finder, if you have a newer MacBook. But I highly recommend updating it because again, security is always important when it comes to your information and data on your iPhone. So why not make that update for you? As you can see here, the update shouldn't take much long we see somewhere between a couple minutes when the update happened but generally again update that you're going to see a lot more of so one of you guys to know how these kind of updates are being rolled out now so hopefully this quick little video was informational for you guys also want to hear from you guys if you guys updated your phone to this version what phone have you updated have you had any issue leave it in the comment section so everyone can get to share their experience as well thanks for watching guys see you guys and next time